To create a more advanced filter within TickTick, start by clicking the plus button next to filters. When the add filter window pops up, by default you're on the normal or simple version. Click advanced to get the more advanced filter options. Start by giving your filter a name. Click the first filter button to select the first filter criteria you will use. You can choose from the regular options like lists, tags, priority, but there is also an include option. This will filter tasks based on text. Next, click the logic button to decide if you will use AND logic or OR logic. AND logic means that the first criteria has to be true, as well as the second criteria, which we haven't set yet, also has to be true in order for a task to be returned. OR logic means that either the first criteria is met, or the second criteria is met, or both. Let's use the AND logic, meaning that both criteria that we set have to be true for the task to be returned. Click the second filter button to choose your second set of criteria. Click the preview button in the lower left corner to get a preview of what your results will look like. We can see that both tasks that have been returned have the word demo in the name and both are a medium priority. You can click cancel to go back and modify your filter criteria or click the save button to save this filter. One thing I want to point out here is that even though we've used an AND operator between the two sets of filter criteria, if we want to filter on two different priorities, for example, medium and high, those will be treated as an OR operator. So for example, if I want to retrieve tasks that have the word demo in it and are either a medium priority or a high priority, I can select both priorities and it lets me know that this will be treated as an OR relationship. This logic operator might be different or give you different options depending on the filter criteria. If we want to expand our filter, we can just hit the plus button to add another set of filter criteria. Again, choose the logic operator, AND or OR, and then choose the third filter criteria. Notice up at the upper right, we have two different options for logic of lists. We can choose OR, which means that the task should reside in either Project Phoenix list or General Work Tasks list. Or we can change this to a NOT logic, meaning the task should not be in Project Phoenix or General Work Tasks. I'm going to flip it back to OR and then click OK. From here, we can click the Save button to save our filter. You will see your new filter show up in the Filters section.